Hi, my name is Sherry Sains. I'm a librarian at Ohio University. Um, Shel Silverstein has been an important poet to me and my children. We've laughed and cried with Shel Silverstein for years and years. And so I would like to recite for you Sarah Cynthia Sylvia Stout. Sarah Cynthia Sylvia Stout, she would not take the garbage out. Oh, she'd scour the pots and scrape the pans, candy the yams and spice the hams. But though her daddy would scream and shout, she simply would not take the garbage out. And so it piled up to the ceilings, coffee grounds, potato peelings, bran bananas, rotten peas, chunks of sour cottage cheese. It filled the can, it covered the floor, it cracked the window and it blocked the door with bacon rinds and chicken bones and drippy ends of ice cream cones and prune pits and peach pits and orange peel and gloppy glumps of cold oatmeal. Pizza crusts and withered greens, soggy greens and tangerines, crusts of black burnt buttered toast, gristly bits of beefy roasts. The garbage rolled on down the hall. It raised the roof. It broke the wall with greasy napkins and cookie crumbs and gobs of gooey bubble gum and cellophane from green bologna, rubbery blubbery macaroni, peanut butter caked in dry curdled milk and crust of pie, eggshells mixed with lemon custard, moldy melons, dried up mustard, cold french fries and rancid meat, yellow lumps of cream of wheat. At last, the garbage reached so high that finally it touched the sky and all the neighbors moved away, and none of her friends would come to play. And finally, Sarah Cynthia Sylvia Stout said, all right, we'll take the garbage out. But then, of course, it was too late. The garbage reached across the state from New York to the Golden Gate, where we are right now. And there in the garbage, she did hate. Poor Sarah met an awful fate, which I cannot right now relate, because the hour is much too late. But children, remember Sarah Stout. And always take the garbage out.